from a small town in Sri Lanka called Matakulia, an artist emerged. Through his unique blend of cross-culture and rap machines, this artist conquered not just the local market, but also the South Indian market. This is the story of a proud product of Sri Lanka. This is the story of Dinesh Kanagaratnam. Hello everyone, very warm welcome to the Ashing Sunny Show and I'm very excited to talk to Dinesh Kanagaratnam who's also ADK, the stage name. Hello. Hey, hi, how are how you? How are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Welcome back to Sri Lanka after a long time. Yes ma'am, <laughs> I'm so happy. How have you been? How, how are you feeling these days? <laughs> um, I'm feeling really cool, very happy. Mm -hmm. uh, happy to be back home, mm -hmm. to meet all my friends, mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. uh, meet people like you all. <laughs> so beautiful bar, beautiful atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yes, fantastic. To start the conversation with, I would like to ask you the very first question for, to you is, you have studied, you have uh, pursued your path initially in the IT profession and then you went on to become an international level rapper. How did this change happen? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the world is strange. Mm -hmm. It doesn't tell you what is going to happen when oh, and what course. will come to you, right? Mm -hmm. See, every part of my life, I had a dream or mm -hmm. I had a greed for something. Mm -hmm. So as we human beings, we always greed for something. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to become an IT engineer mm -hmm. because that point of a time, mm -hmm. everybody was respected for that, for being an IT engineer, even okay. till now. Okay. So I became that. And then suddenly I became um, a creative personality. Mm -hmm. I started working for a lot of advertising agencies. Mm -hmm. And then from there, uh, I picked up music and uh, I started um, doing graphics for Bhati and Santosh in the first place. Mm -hmm. That's how I got into music okay. and I never thought it would bring me to this place until where I can work with mm -hmm. uh, international composers like Raman sir, mm -hmm. um, Yuvan Shankar Raja. Yeah, yeah. So I'm very happy that I'm very yeah. happy that mm -hmm. I'm, an, um, I'm an unknown diamond that is making Sri Lanka proud in some sort but yeah. many people doesn't know me yet. <laughs> No one, I would say not unknown, no one. <laughs> Let's cut the on part. Now, I would like to ask you, um, we're all Sri Lankans, right? You and I both. Now, coming from Sri Lankan culture, what was it? The, what was the thinking behind your parents since you changed from an IT profession to straight into a creative side, an entertainment side? Was your par were your parents against it or were they helping you through it? What was your thinking? Okay, my parents are very simple people. Mm -hmm. And they do not have the knowledge or the idea behind all this profession. Mm -hmm. For them, whatever I did mm -hmm. made them proud, made them happy. Mm -hmm. So when I was working in IT companies mm -hmm. and then I was working as a web application developer, mm -hmm. they did not know what it was, but they were still happy for me. Mm -hmm. Then when I went into the creative side, became a creative uh, you know, art director, they were still happy for me because I was winning awards and doing stuff mm -hmm. like that. Then I, when, I became a, when I became a rapper, when mm -hmm. I became an artist, my dad was very happy, you know, every time an article comes, mm -hmm. he will be the first person to take the article and go and show to everyone. Aww. So every period of time, I think they did not have a culture shock, okay. but they actually were surprised to see, mm -hmm. is that my son who is doing all these things? Because okay. I was a very quiet kid. I, does, I don't really? talk. No, no, I was a very <laughs> quiet kid. I don't talk at all. Um, I had this major inferiority complex that I tried mm -hmm. to come out of it mm -hmm. because I was shorter than my sister. Mm -hmm. So I oh, thought, okay. yeah, I was shorter than my sister. So I had to fight, fight, fight to change myself, <laughs> build my vocabulary, all this stuff. Okay. So they're very proud. They did not have any sort of a disappointment in my growth. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, the parent support is all we need sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, coming into your turning point of the remake of Surangani song, you know, you sang that song in Tamil as um, Athichudi for yeah. Mr. Vijay Antoni. Yes. How did that happen and what's the story behind? I was producing this song with Pasan. Okay. Pasan, Pasan Yes. <laughs> okay, he's a he's a sweet kid, right? So he had the biggest break with that song. Mm. Because before that he had a different stage name. Mm. So then we did this song and it became a huge hit in Sri Lanka. Mm. Then one day I got to know that this music director called Vijay Anthony is trying to produce the same song mm. in India to a movie. So I thought this is the best chance for me to send my song to him mm. and you should always grab the opportunity. You mm. should never miss it. So I somehow reached him. And he loved the song and it just happened overnight and the song became Aati Chudi and it was chart topping, oh, wow. it was chart topping everywhere in India. Yeah. 
and it changed my entire career. Yeah. And I started seeing limelight. But the only problem is that time the social media was not this powerful. Mm. To bring it up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But still, that time whatever I had was my happiness. Mm. I still cherish that. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's something I think we should all talk about because usually we have all these Indian and uh, Tamil songs and then it comes to Sri Lanka, we make the Sinhalese version, right? But this is like Surangani to Malugenama, you made the Tamil version and you yes. took it to international. I mean, kudos to that. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, talking about all these big shots you've worked with, all the international artists, I'm sure um, A.R. Rahman is the maestro of a lot of things. So. For a lot of people, even seeing him, forget about just working, seeing him is just a dream come true. But you've got the chance to work with him. What is the story and how did it all happen? Okay, I'm, I'm just going to elaborate the whole thing. Oh yeah, sure, bit, okay? sure. We all want to know. See, A.R. <laughs> Rahman is someone that who pinched the music uh, um, inside me mm. because I am a person who doesn't enjoy music mm. I never listen to music in a in a in a wider way mm -hmm. but when Rahman sir came into the picture I started listening to all these peppy numbers mm. so whenever I listen to his song I go into this imaginary world and I build a world around me thinking mm. all this mm. right mm. so I thought one day if I ever become a musician I should be working with him mm. I should mm. work with him is my my thing see sometimes when you keep on thinking about something it happens mm. Then every time I go into any studios in Sri Lanka, when I work with the people here, I always think that Ramansa is looking at me and he's watching me and I'm recording a song for him. And I always walked with that pride. Mm. So when I kept that in my mind, I fought for that. And somehow I managed to meet him one day mm. and give him a bouquet in his hand. Mm. And to be very honest, I was dead broke that day. I had, I had only 60 rupees in my hand, Indian rupees. Okay. I was not doing well that time. Even after attitude, I was going through a lot of issues because of my personal situation. Yeah, okay. I got a bouquet for him. I gave him. I met him. I came. I thought, okay, this is it. He's never going to call me again. And I was so cliche to give a bouquet to a man. But <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in India, everybody does that. Okay. But one fine day, I was sitting in a bar, chilling with my friend. And I get this call from one of my friends who, whose brother works for Rahman sir. Mm. He called me and said, you got to run to India. Rahman sir is looking for you. Oh, wow. I booked a ticket. I booked the ticket. <laughs> okay. I did not have money. I borrowed money. I booked the ticket. I went down there. And then I recorded my first song with Ramansa called Magudi. Okay. And uh, that again put me into a lot of mainstream places. Then I became a proper artist. My Instagram got verified without me asking. My Facebook got verified without me asking. Yeah. I got an agent to manage me. So everything changed. Uh. So it was a beautiful experience and, and working with Rahman sir is the most easiest thing. Yeah. Everybody gets scared. Oh my God, it's Rahman. Me, when I go, I stand up because I've been imagining, right? I've been working with him all the time. I went and I just want to showcase my talent. And that's yeah. what I did. Yeah. And he I, and now I did almost five songs with him. Okay. Almost five. And all the five songs have hit big, ch mm -hmm. big charts. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy and very glad that I'm putting Sri Lanka in, in the map. Of in, course, in, of course. Because we are all... <laughs> Belong, we belong to this country, yeah. regardless of whether we are Tamil or yeah, Sinhalese or Muslim, yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. We represent the country yeah. and every time I work with him, I feel proud. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> thank you, thank you for representing the country <laughs> in such a way. Yeah. I'm sure we will get there soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I would like to request, yeah. will you be able to sing two lines or three lines of the very first song you sang for A.R. Rahman? It's going to be very loud if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. So, this is the rap portion okay. that's, yeah. that, that says about a particular situation so it goes like um Vida could a valley upon with the gala march of an gala bad at the back and a village in each of the murder can gala path than solid about a boom in all the pure number could eat an art in a pure number and a bit of a little 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 Thank you and uh, thank you so much for singing in the Ashing Sunny show. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, no, you should watch the show. It's amazing. Yeah? You should okay. watch my first show. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm let me have out. a look yes. at that as well. <laughs> now, um, moving into the next question, I would like to ask: How was your feeling to work with um, an Indian director like Mr. Mani Ratnam? You have worked with him, and yes. also to be a part of uh, Mr. Rajni Khan's movie <clears throat> Linga. Yeah. Then comes Marcel singing Marcel. for Thalapati Vijay. Yes, sir. yes. yes. <laughs> How was this whole thing? I want to know the experience and the feeling about it. I mean, I've met Vijay personally. I've mm. met Mani Ratnam sir personally. Mm. Uh, I mean, I met Vijay sir during his movie called Vete Karan launch. I did a song on that movie also. Mm. 
But Marisol was is a, a funny moment, but I'll tell you how it worked. Yeah. So Mani Ratnam sir, uh, myself and Raman sir sat together and did Magudi. Okay. Because it was for his film. Okay. I was such a humble human being. I just learned what modesty is from mm. Mani Ratnam sir. Mm. Being such a very big director, mm. he was too humble, too kind, too modest that he gave me the utmost freedom to do what I want to do. So he's a great man. Mm. And then I worked with him and I learned how how not to force someone to do what we want hmm. we should let them do what they can do and take and create the best out of it yeah so that i learned from mani ratnam sir and raman sir uh, working with uh, vijay was amazing yeah. because one fine day at 2 2 am in the morning raman sir calls me and he says i got a song for you you need to record it i need it by tomorrow morning hmm. so i rushed to the studio at 4 am in the morning and recorded the song for kalabadi for marisol hmm. it was just a small intro hmm. and then i had a old partner in called sri rasko we hmm. used to be a very big duo hmm. so i got him also into the picture and then we did this song hmm. and it became a uh, hit it, uh, it was a big hit it was uh, an intro song okay. and that is uh, one thing that i would never forget but one person that i always want to meet is uh, rajni sir i've never met him oh okay but i worked <laughs> for him i worked yeah. for linga and now also i worked for robo 2 hmm. i did some uh, you know uh, background scoring music and stuff hmm. I would I would always want to meet him yeah. because I always thought that I love Rajini sir's personality yeah. and I every Indian boy if every Indian man will have Rajini inside him inside, that Rajini yeah. him is always inside some sort of a movement or walk or whatever yeah. so yes I want to meet him one day I think it's not just the Indians in <laughs> Sri Lanka also if you take the, the Tamil society and the Tamil crowd the ones who are Mm. We have very big fans of Rajini Khan, right? Mm. We even if we speak to one of my friends, they would be like, okay, they they would like to you know yeah. get that action and all of that. Yes, it, it's a dream come true for so many people. So, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, he's a very big philosopher. To be very honest, if you listen to his speech and everything, mm. everything that he says is very very deep, mm. very very deep, and you have to pay attention. Mm. And he's a very good personal. personality in real life mm. more than in movies i love him in his real life more than in movies oh, yeah that's amazing that's amazing yeah. to know <laughs> so um coming back to sri lanka yeah. now you know yohani yeah. is up there she oh, took, yes. she also <laughs> took the sri lankan name and put a sign on the world map yes. um now you are the new sisso the buzz is so that you are going to release a new song with yohani yes we let's are, talk a little bit about it yes we are going to because uh, okay yohani Yohani's exposure is in a different league mm-hmm. with all the social media and having a, a very big nice team yeah. she worked very hard for what she is deserving right now at this moment of time yeah. like me i also worked in a different way so i thought mm-hmm. we both should connect and i thought we should make a song together because i love yohani's voice texture mm-hmm. and she's a very sweet girl mm-hmm. so when i first saw she singing hosana in tamil mm-hmm. i thought she's one of the fantastic Sri Lankan artist who can pronounce Tamil words nice. Mm. So I immediately approached her and then we planned, we worked, mm. we worked on this song called Rider Fighter, mm. like almost one year back, one and a half years back. Mm. And uh, the song is a bilingual song, Tamil and okay. Sinhala together. Yeah. And we produced it. We shot the video two months back, mm. and now the video is ready for launch on January twenty eighth. Yeah. So we're releasing mm. this month, January twenty eighth. on my youtube channel called rap machines worldwide mm. so if you're watching this show please go and subscribe to the channel <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm marketing myself i'm being selfish i'm so paid sorry paid advertisement not a paid advertisement <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer yeah the disclaimer yeah so we are waiting and my my uh, uh director and my co-partner uh, abu karim ismail is the person who mm. produced the whole um music video we spent a quite a lot of money mm. um so it's a beautiful video so mm. i think you will like it too yeah yeah yes I've heard it's a beautiful song so let's wait for the launch and see. <laughs> and other than that what are the upcoming projects that you're looking forward in India or Sri Lanka what are your plans? Uh I'm going to release another single called Maya Kari from uh, our label Rap Machines mm. and we also relaunched my company Rap Machines as Rap Machines Worldwide. Mm. So we are collaborating with many artists. I've also done a song with DJ Mass in Sri Lanka. Ah, okay. He made this song called Pem Kumala. Pem, Pem Kakula. Pem, Pem Kakula. <laughs> uh, Pem Kakula. So uh, I did a song with him. Yeah. Amazing artist. I've also collaborated with Pasan Lee and again again. Yeah. And also working with K2 is a Sri Lankan producer. Then I'm working in Mumbai with this artist called Emily Bay Bantai. Mm. He's a he's a rap artist. Okay. He has about 17 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. Mm. I'm also collaborating with Andrea Jeremiah. 
and the list will go on and on oh, and on. Yeah. Do you want me to continue or stop? <laughs> so it's a lot of work coming on. Yes, yeah? yes, yes. A yeah. lot of work Amazing. coming on. Yes. Now, since you kept mentioning about rap machines, I would like to ask. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about rap machines and how did this get launched and founded? Yes, rap machines uh, was a very active uh, label since 2015. Mm -hmm. It was formed by myself and my partner Sri Ras Kool. Okay. And uh, then after that, we took a decision to run things separately. Mm -hmm. Uh, but now Rap Machines is still uh, acting as a hmm. as a label plus a society that we are actually trying to support a lot of youngsters. Hmm. We have signed two artists under the label. We don't want to sign any more. Oh, okay. uh, so one is a Mal two of them are Malaysian artists. It's all just a club of rappers kind club of Club of rappers yeah. and singers. And I'm hmm. trying to sign someone here in uh, Sri Lanka now. The talks are going on. Hmm. And that's about it. And after that, it's just me. So I'm focusing on me. Mm -hmm. Rap Machines is a record label that focuses on rap music. Mm -hmm. But we also released a song called Pachai mm -hmm. recently. Yes, course, yes. It's completely out of our genre, but I would love all the Sri Lankan people if they can go and watch the video mm -hmm. and support us. It's mm -hmm. about Mother Nature and how people forgot mm -hmm. and re got remembered because of COVID. Mm -hmm. We were stuck for two years. We didn't see no green, no see, yeah. no nothing. Now we are appreciating all this. So we made a song for that. I would like to thank my team, um, Daniel, uh, Abu, uh, Thiban, uh, Priyamali. All these people are my, my, my family. So thank you so much, guys. I'm using this show to thank you all. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> and thank you for supporting. Thank yeah, you for, for sharing. Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah, for sure. I, appreciate I would that. also like to ask you now, um, since you're an artist who has worked with the Indian industry and also in the Sri Lankan industry, what is the difference that you have felt personally? Um, what are the areas that the Sri Lankan industry can improve? For sure, there's a lot of areas that we could improve with the cultural barriers and we are still coming up, right? But we're trying to make a difference in the world as well with at least one or two artists going forward. What is your personal experience in the two industries and what do you think we can improve? I personally think Sri Lanka is all already there because oh, okay. I think it's enough of us thinking that we are way behind, mm -hmm. we are not doing things. No, look at the quality of our music videos, mm -hmm. right? Look at what Yohani dropping, Bhatia dropping, um, mm -hmm. uh, Smokey or whoever these artists, Iraj, mm -hmm. whoever. They are actually, and I really like this team called Vasti. Yeah, They're also okay. doing great. Look at their video qualities. Mm -hmm. They're doing amazing work. The audio is also getting there. The mastering quality is also mm -hmm. there. The only thing that we are lacking is actually a proper PR team to push our work. Yes. If a PR agent is here in Sri Lanka dedicated for this independent music and they push our work, everybody will know who Sri Lankan artists are. Mm. Check out Umara, Umaria, these singers are mm. great singers. They go to India, they will conquer the world. Yeah. But they are not known because our market is not pushing. pushing yeah. Thank God we are having a lot of good shows coming mm. in Sri Lanka now. I think we are almost there. It's mm. just our country is small. Mm. So we need PR agents to push us. Mm. That's it. That's it. Okay, so coming into um, the latter part of the questions, I would also like to ask you, is there anyone that you want to thank and, uh, you know, be grateful to in this show? We would like to give you an opportunity other than your team. Now, you have mentioned. I am very thankful to everyone who have helped me mm. and unknown faces. For mm. example, uh, my best friends, Balan, mm. uh, Radishan, mm. my, my amma, my appa. Mm. My sister, my brother-in-law, mm. these are the people that the world doesn't know. Mm. So I would like to thank them. And I would also like to thank Rahman sir, Yuvan Shankar Raja, Anna and um, Harris Jairaj, mm. whoever the man, all these composers who have given me the opportunity mm. and not forgetting Vijay Anthony. Yeah. All these uh, people gave me opportunities to work on songs and uh, produce music. Mm. Uh, and I also want to thank Bhatia and Santosh for actually giving me the opportunity to lay my vocals in the studio. If they would have told like, no, you're not good enough, you cannot work, I would have gone long time back. Yeah. I, would, I would have just gone disappeared. So thank you so much to all these people. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank Parson who produced my track, K2, everyone, in, you, everyone <laughs> who have in, invited yeah. me for yeah. an interview. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you Sri Lanka in the first place. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> no. But the show is not over. Thank you. We are not going to finish it. <laughs> Any given, I'm not going to let no, you no, go. No, no, I don't want to go. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> um, so I would also like to ask, you have, you know, you've been brought up in a small town called Matakulia in Sri Lanka. And yes. then your first group has been the cross culture. Yes. You know, starting from that uh, to your own solo stuff, taking over South India. Yeah. Um, what are the milestones you want to highlight in this whole journey? 
uh, I I don't count it as a milestone, but I also don't see them them as an achievement. I actually see them as my hard work. I only see them as some token of appreciation that I've collected for myself. So that's how I see. But coming from a small town uh, from Matakulia, it is a place even many Sri Lankans don't know. Last time mm -hmm. they don't know where Matakulia is. Mm -hmm. So people are slowly getting to know. Mm -hmm. We don't have a theater. We don't have a shopping mall. We don't have all this place. Doesn't mean that people there don't, are lacking of exposure. Mm. We have to push ourselves, and that's what I did. Mm. And um, I've done more than fifty to sixty songs in collective mm. in Tamil cinema. Mm. I've dropped about five albums mm. uh, in my career. I've given singles, big hits in you know um, singles like Surangani or Kuruvi or Mayavi or yeah. I can name it. But it's not enough. What mm. I want to do is something that I really want to make a buzz. For example, what Yohani did, it mm. shake the country, right? Mm. So I personally think I haven't done like that yet. All the world have have not identified me as such. Mm. So I think I'm the only Sri Lankan who worked with Air Raman so far, mm. and I think most of the Sri Lankans does not know that. Yeah. And if they know that, I think they will be very happy. Mm. But I think I'm also not given that exposure. Like now yeah. you are giving me, now a lot of people giving me. So I need to do. I need to work more harder yeah. to pinch them, saying, "Hey, I'm still here." Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's exactly what we are doing through the Ashing Sunny Show as well. Mm. We are going to remind people here. Any case here, the only Sri Lankan who has worked with Ayar Rama. Yeah, that's that's not a that's a nice yeah. proud fact. Yeah. But I think the the most important thing is not working with him, not to be the, the first. It's the talent. It is the talent and how how consistent you are yeah. is important. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, amazing. Yeah, so, with all of those serious questions, we are going to uh, come to the closing with a fun segment. This is yes or no segment with Ashik. So, in this yes or no segment, I have given you Dinesh yeah. a board. Yeah. <laughs> There's no maybe. Okay, it's yes or no. Right. So you can't stay in between. So, right. I have six questions for you. Right. So, you don't have th much time to think. Also. Okay. Like patas. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Ready? Right. I'm a very honest person. Don't yeah, worry. Please. Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> Honesty is a must for me. Now. Yeah. For sure. Right. Has your heart ever been broken? Yes. <laughs> How many times? These are cross questions. <laughs> many times. <laughs> many times. Okay. Have you ever broken someone's heart? Lies. No. <laughs> okay. I hope that's not an empathy card that's being played. But yeah. <laughs> Do you love cricket? Yes. Oh, okay. When it comes to cricket, are you a good fielder? <laughs> I am not at all. <laughs> yes, we've heard some stories from yeah, your friends. Yeah, so yeah, we would yeah. like to know why? Yeah. Why? Why? No, I I, I was a very enthusiast um, uh, cricketer because I always thought that during school time when you play cricket, all these girls look at you. Mm. you know, you look like a superstar when you play cricket. You know, nineteen ninety six World Cup time. <laughs> so I always want to play cricket, and okay. I actually also forced my parents to get me good bats and good all the stuff. Okay. I can play a little bit. I can bowl a little bit, <laughs> but when it comes to fielding, I'm sure I can't. Oh, okay. So, but I enjoyed. I went to NCC. I practiced. Okay. But I, I from nothing, mm -hmm. I at least made ten percent out of me as a good mm -hmm. as, as a cricketer, but not the best. I would say I really tried my level best. We've heard that you miss a lot of balls when you go to catch. Ah, boo. I thought maybe 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 I'm so basically had a catch like that, right? Yeah. But maybe I'm not. We don't do that really. Okay. We should play cricket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. <laughs> okay. Um. So, was there a moment in your life that you have ever felt that you are at your zero level and that you want to, you know, end your life? Yes. Okay. Like I never to... thought I would end my life because mm. I'm very greedy for me. I love myself mm. more than anybody that I love in this world. Amazing. Uh, because we wake up in the morning, the first thing we do is look into the mirror, mm. and we always dress up. We do whatever we can do because we love ourselves. Yeah. I don't want to kill something that God gave me. Mm. Let me go through it. Mm. I've felt the pain, mm. but I've never thought I want to die. I would never want to die. Mm. But yes, I said I wish I died. Mm. That, that's a normal thing. That's mm. human being, right? Mm. But I, I'll never kill myself. Okay. So, what is the situation <laughs> in your life that you have felt you are at? Well, zero? many situations. You know, this this word called fame. Mm. It's a it's like a poison. You know, it can slowly kill you. If you take it to your head, it can always bring it down. I I'm so thankful that I never took it to my head. Mm. But sometimes when you see when you do something and you're not appreciated for that, you feel really down mm -hmm. and you think you're depressed. Yeah. And you go through that pain. Sometimes mm -hmm. when you have personal emotional connection with someone, mm -hmm. example relationship, mm -hmm. when they leave you, mm -hmm. you're broken into pieces. Regardless of what the matter is, mm -hmm. you feel like you want to end yourself. Mm -hmm. 
So these are basic things that I go through like like any other people, right? Mm. So yes, many times. Mm. <laughs> um, have you heard funny rumors about you coming? Yes. Okay. What is the funniest rumor about you that you've heard? Uh, that I got beaten. Huh? By, yeah, <laughs> I got beaten by three guys in Malaysia. I don't think nobody can do that. I've I've fought with my friends. Yes, okay. I've, I've <laughs> argued with my friends. I, those are normal thing, right? But okay. uh, that's one. And the other one is that um, um, I'm a I'm a major playboy and all this stuff. Oh. <laughs> I would wish I can be a major playboy. Okay. There's no man in this world who doesn't like women. Everybody <laughs> likes, but I'm not a playboy for God's sake. <laughs> okay. I like relationships. Note everywhere. on that disclaimer again. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so if yeah. it's a nice, beautiful girl comes and talks yeah. to you, and if you're single, yeah, it yeah. happens. But when you're committed and the women treat you nice, I think you should keep your distance on yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's my right. belief. Yeah. Okay. Have people ever laughed behind your back that you know? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. About what then do you know about it? Uh, when I first started doing music, when I went and told them that, you know, I'm working with Bharti and Santosh and all this stuff, people say, oh, yeah, and then, 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 you know, and then, and then, and then, now people judge you with your likes and your followers. See, we are living in a very different world now. Yeah. People judge you for who you are in social media. <laughs> So when you have less followers comparing to another musician, they will laugh behind your back or say something that Apo is this fellow is still struggling, he's not yeah, getting, yeah. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But I've heard these things, I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've, people have made these songs for me, mm -hmm. people have put me down, nothing will stop me because you know what? The person who is successful than us mm -hmm. will never talk about us. Yeah. The person who is always lower than us will talk about us. Well so said. take like that and go forward. Mm -hmm. Achai. <laughs> Thank you so much. With that, we are ending the Yes or No segment. And That's also, all. Yes. <laughs> yes, I would say yes. <laughs> so, with that, we are coming into a closing. But um, before we bring the show into a closing, is there anything that, um, that you want to say to your audience, your fans in Sri Lanka and the world? <laughs> I want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for being patient mm. with me because a lot of people think that I've stopped music mm. because I don't focus here. Mm. Actually not, I do a lot of things. Mm. And uh, thank you so much for bringing me Ashni mm. here and showing me to your crowd. And I really loved your show. Mm. I thank think you. I approached you <laughs> and asking is that if I can work with you. That means that is a success too for you. And yes, it's, it's, yes. it's a privilege for me yeah. as well. I'm not... I'm, I'm honestly telling this because you are doing a great job. Thank Keep you so it up. And I would like to come every time I come to Sri Lanka. I would like to come to this show for and sure, be a part for of sure. it. <laughs> and thank you. As soon as I ask, thank you so much for saying yes instead mm -hmm. of saying, "Oh, I'm so busy. I got a list of people that I need." No, no. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Appreciate it. The yeah. pleasure is all mine, and the honor is also all mine to have <laughs> you. And we're an so proud thing. of you for taking Sri Lanka and keeping that mark internationally. And hopefully. I'll also come to India and work with you. Yes, please. <laughs> come. Let's look forward to all of that. And this is not the end. We have a gift for you. Oh, wow. Okay. We're not going to send you off empty-handed. We yes. have a gift. This is from Ceylon Bee Honey, oh, our wow. gift partner. These are original bee honey from Sri Lanka in wow. different flavors that you can try and test. <laughs> Do you mind if I take this out? It's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. You can. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I love honey with, um, uh, with curd. Oh yeah. Oh, no? yeah. So oh, this what? is the original bee honey. These are just uh, different flavors. They flavors. Use. Ah, yes. okay. <laughs> Thank you so much because I also love the fact that Sri Lankans never send someone when they come home empty-handed. Oh yeah, sure. And we don't send you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dinesh. Thank you very pleasure much. All it's mine. a pleasure. And uh, let's all the best for all your work in future. And we are looking forward to your song with Johani as well. Thank so you. So let's very keep much. in touch. Thank you very much, and happy New Year. <laughs> happy New Year. See you all. Thank you so much. Stay in touch. And I would like to remind you about our partners today for this special episode on the Ashton Sunny Show. We should thank our hotel partner, Golfes Hotel, and also our gift partner, Ceylon Bihani. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Stay in touch. This is the Ashton Sunny Show.